The new plan seeks to unite the work of the Foreign Ministry, the Ministry for Economic Cooperation, and the Ministry of Defense under the direction of the Foreign Minister's Office. Kerstin Müller of the Foreign Ministry says the government agencies will continue their work according to broader crisis prevention aims drawn up by the German government in the year 2000. We were planning this action plan with around about 160 concrete proposals because for us a policy of crisis prevention is in the middle of our policy in comparison to military means. We think that the issue of today is that we have to fight against the causes of conflicts and that we have to intervene as early as possible to prevent crisis from escalating. The new plan puts an emphasis on work in three areas. Supporting reliable government structures, securing basic living conditions and building up civil society efforts locally. One model for Germany's future action abroad is its current involvement in Afghanistan. There, the German government has set up training for local police forces in addition to sending humanitarian aid and some 2,000 peacekeeping troops. Walter Kolbo of the Defense Ministry says the new action plan casts the military in a supporting role. The military role is additionally to the civilian responsibility to recreate a destroyed state or to help people after a civil war or after tensions to bring up peaceful period and help them with money, with food, and then with forces. And the forces had the task to create a secure environment that the uh, civilian rebuilding can work very well. The German government has carried out over 250 projects in conflict areas since 1999, costing some 21 million euros. No additional budget has been set for the new plan. Katja Kumkova-Wolpert, DW Radio, Berlin.